While this was a successful conclusion to an important investigation, police were quick to note this is not a good news story. Reason for that, this was a major gun seizure and these were guns that were destined for Toronto streets and communities, said the police chief. While it represents outstanding police work, we should all be disturbed by a gun seizure of this magnitude. This is the result of a lengthy investigation into an alleged firearms trafficking group. Project Barbell began in the fall of 2021 after the Gun and Gang Task Force began looking into two men suspected of trafficking firearms. It's Mr. Syed Mohammed Ali Zaidi, 27 years of Scarborough, and Mr. Michael Livingston, Livingston Simpson, 29 years, also of Scarborough. The investigation led to the arrest of six people now facing a total of 260 criminal charges. Of the 62 firearms seized, 58 were traced, four were untraceable, four of the AR-15 types were untraceable, 57 were traced to the United States, to U.S., primarily Arizona and Texas, and only one of these firearms was traced to Ontario. Sparking renewed calls for greater border security. The best place to cut this off is at the border to stop the guns from coming across from the U.S., which is where they're coming from. In the last two years alone, we have been allocated $450 million to the CBSA. Do we need to do more? Absolutely, but we're gonna work very closely with local and regional police services to do just that. This anti-gun violence activist says he's concerned about how guns are getting into young people's hands. They, they say it's easier for them to get a gun than to get a job. So we have to do a better job at the border. We have to do a better job of doing the investigation and letting the public know what's going on. Police say the guns were intended to be resold and could fetch anywhere from $4,500 to $6,000 a piece. Karen Lieberman, Global News.